What's up, it's Lalo. In this video, I want to show you how to remove a morph's influence on specific vertices. Let's say you created a head morph and you accidentally sculpt a little bit on the body or something like that, and you want to um, stop the head morph from changing the body. It's pretty easy. First thing you want to do is select your ge geometry tool, which you can find on your hotbar right here. So we'll click on that. And then you need to go to the tool settings for that tool, which I have docked over here. If you don't have it anywhere on your user, user interface, you can add it by right clicking on the pane here and adding the tab. Um, you won't see it in my list because it's already there, but usually just be down here under T's. And then once you have the tool settings open, you want to make sure you have uh, the vertex selection mode selected. So we'll click on that. And now, You'll come over here to your um, the morph that you want to change inside your parameters tab. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to use a Stella head morph. Uh, you'll want to make sure you're in edit mode. By default, you usually won't be, um, but I already was. But anyway, so I'm going to go back into edit mode. And now you can right click on that morph and then go to select morph vertices. And now it'll select all the vertices that are being changed by that morph. And uh, I'd probably normally just leave this alone, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to show you how we could remove some of these on our neck. Anyway, so now you can change your um, selection mode if you right click on the figure pretty much anywhere in the scene, I think. Yeah. So go to selection mode. I'm just going to use lasso for this demonstration. And now, by default, the Alt key will, uh, if, if you hold the Alt key, you'll deselect whatever you select in your lasso. So I'm going to hold the Alt key and then just kind of lasso around some of these vertices here. And then once we remove the vertices from the selection, right click and invert the selection. So we'll go to Geometry, Selection, Invert Selection. And now it'll highlight all the more or all the vertices that we don't want to be influenced by the morph. Now all you have to do is favorite the morph that you want changed, and then make sure in your favorites here that's the only one listed. You can do more than one at a time if you have a bunch of different morphs. Um, and so yeah, they'll just all be listed here. And now right click here again on the in the viewport, and then go to morph editing and then clear selected deltas from favorites. And now if we go back and uh, select the morph vertices of this morph, you'll see that it no longer selects, oops, you'll see that it no longer selects those two rows of vertices here. And that's pretty much it. It's that simple. And then uh, you'll just want to make sure like this won't actually save any of the changes. So now once you, you know, deselect or or once you uh, fix the morph you're working on you'll want to resave it so just go to file save as support asset morph asset and then you can pick whatever asset directory you want I always use a different one for my uh, works in progress uh, you can put in your vendor name or whatever name you want and then the uh, product name so in my case I do Stella and then just expand uh, you know, Genesis 8 and, or whatever item it is that you're um, the morph is for. And then just find the the morph in the list. Mine's under My Sculpted Characters and then Stella Head. Now if I hit Accept, it'll save it out and then my morph will no longer change those two rows of vertices on our net. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Thanks for watching.